Hey guys, we're back for the next pair of shoes. So this is a pair of Michael Kors that I got right before the pandemic. They haven't gotten that much use. Um, you can see from the bottoms, they're pretty clean, but they fit so nice. Look at how, I love the shimmer. This is gonna be a fun shoe to wear. I've been dying to wear them. You can see how cute they are. Really comfortable. This one needs a little bit of stretching, um, but Obviously that comes from wear. Like I said, a lot of these I will wear for like a special occasion and then I will um, I'll wear my driving shoes or my train shoes for my driveway because my driveway is so hectic. But I can't wait to wear these. These I would wear running around with the, my friends because this is a shoe I can literally run in and can jump. So this would definitely be one of those shoes where I could do like a little bit more around town. Um, I'd probably get a blister because of where it cuts off because that's what happened with me the last time. But um, that happens when um, you wear shoes like these. So these were on Michael Kors. I got them on sale at Macy's. Um, and I just love them. My friend was going to get the same pair in black but she changed her mind and it's a shame because they're cute and they fit beautifully and I think with the right pedicure absolutely gorgeous i actually need to go get a professional pedicure done soon um definitely do so next this was a gift and i'm so excited because i needed a pair of navy blues so to the lovely subscriber who sent me this shoe thank you this is made by i think it's oh i can't say it um yeah, I can't. It, it, part of it is actually inappropriate. <laughs> um, it's de exclamation. It, okay. De exclamation point. D. F is in Frank. U is an umbrella. So, um, that's the name of the brand. It has nothing to do with anything. But these are going to be so cute for work. I have a few navy um, pants and stuff and outfits that these are going to be absolutely perfect for. Oh, and they're stretchy too. Okay. So cute. Really comfortable heel. At least so far. And I've lost a little bit of weight. I know some of you have made comments. Thank you for noticing. Um, it's been, you guys know how I've been on like a, a health, I don't want to say a health kick, but like I've been down the road of, you know, trying to eat healthy and stay healthy and all that. And um, it's been a long journey and um, it's going well. And I'm hoping that with the summer weather coming, because the gym I used to go to did not survive the pandemic, which is unfortunate. <sighs> I really miss it, but uh, I've been doing walks and I do my weight lifts and stuff here at the house and stuff like that, but you know, we do what we can. These are so cute. They got that classic old style with a little bit of a platform. Very, very comfortable. Even the inside's kind of on the squishy side. Beautiful for work, so this is gonna go top shelf so I can wear them to work. Like I make them more, I know it says like, oh, it's top shelf. Um, I tried putting my top shelf shoes, a lot of them are ones that couldn't fit on the lower levels because of how tall they are. But uh, I'll put the ones that are easier for me to reach um, towards the tops so that I, I gravitate more towards them. Or put them on the floor. Um, where I can just, you know, swoop them up because like there's, I have like a, a row on the floor where I can just pick what I want. I love that navy blue color. It's so nice. So put that one over there. Um, next we will do, let's do this one. This one is made by... Dadawin. Look at that. Oh, 
It's got a very chunky bottom. Um, I haven't worn this pair yet. Because I have another pair a little bit similar. But I love how cutesy this one is. Oh, that's why. Okay. Now I remember. This one has a weird closure. And I just screwed it up. My bad. Michelle, what did you do? It's got the look of a buckle. But the buckle doesn't actually work. And I forgot that. So I just... Um, did it again. So I'm going to just fix it. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Um, it's a functioning shoe. It's just um, you don't use the buckle. It has this little thing here. Like you just, it goes in like that. So I'll put my foot in. But I had lost that one part initially. And then that just clips behind the costume buckle. Um, I had misplaced the buckle and I was like, how am I going to wear this shoe? Like, I'm not getting rid of this shoe. I got to find the buckle. And I eventually did. So now that I have it, it's actually really easy to use. Kind of like a belt style. And they're very soft. They got a real cutesy look to them. So this would definitely play down a look. These would have been cute for Easter too. How adorable are these? I like those old fashioned patent leather. You know me and my patent leather. There used to be a girl that for some reason, I don't know why she hated on me, but um, she used to make fun that I liked patent leather shoes. I'm like, I don't understand what's wrong with patent leather shoes, but I mean, Maybe you had a bad experience with them. Who knows? But whatever. Like, it's a bit hard for hate, and I don't understand why. I didn't know her from Adam. Okay, next shoe. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. I don't know where the mate to you is yet. It's somewhere in the pile. Okay, let's do this one. This one is by Riverberry. And it's this beautiful brown open toe. It's got a faux suede look to it. Super cute. It looks great with the pantyhose, actually. A nice classic. Brown is another, like, neutral. Goes great with just about everything. You can pretty much substitute brown for any um, anything you would have black with. It's creamy. It's beautiful. This is, like, the heel I could wear all day is this length right here. This one is the one that Michelle can go hours on end in this one. Very comfortable. I got so many great choices for the, oh, I'm so excited. I do got a slight headache. I'm not going to lie because it's hot in here. This is by Riverberry and this was gifted me by a subscriber. So thank you if you're watching. I know like you guys do send me gifts and I don't always get to like thank you because sometimes there's no um like messages or there's no like anything in the boxes to tell me who they came from but um, I do really appreciate it and I like doing these collection videos so that you can see the shoes that you sent me I really appreciate that so the next pair I purchased last summer but I never got a chance to wear them they're so cute these are by Carl Lagerfeld. I could be mispronouncing the name. Look at these. So springy. I've been wanting to get a purse of his, but I haven't found anything. I want something more classic. Okay, this is kind of like not classic, but I feel like that this, the quilting and everything, like this, I don't think will necessarily go out of style, even though it's very fashion forward. But I've been looking for a purse of his that is kind of the same, but I haven't had much luck. I do think these are fun and cute. Easy to walk in. I got them on sale too. I think they're in the 20-ish range. And I didn't have, I don't have a lot of pink. So I thought these were really fun and cute. 
And like last year I was going to like a lot of parties that my one friend was having, but she's been, she's got things going on. So we haven't been getting, get, I haven't seen her since November. Um, we talk here and there, but you know, friends come and go, you know. But that's okay. I got you guys. I talk to you guys. You guys are my friends. Okay. Um, how much time do we have? Oh, we're getting to that magic moment, guys. All right, I'll be back for part two. I'll be right back.